Hey guys, we're here for another cooking segment that we haven't done in a while, so let's get into it. We are making Salisbury steak today. So for the first part, I'm preparing my gravy for the Salisbury steak. So it's just onions and mushrooms sautéing. That'll be also put together with two cups of beef. Next, what you're going to do is going to add a little bit of flour to thicken up this uh, mixture because of all the juices that the onions and mushrooms have given off. Once the flour is added, we can add our two cups of beef broth. And then simmer. While the gravy is getting ready to go and thickening up, we can actually make our mix for our Salisbury steaks. So, you start with one pound of ground beef. First, we have Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, whatever. So, four. One, oh, two, three, and a four. Next, we have a little bit of, uh, what is this, garlic powder. Boom, 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 boom. And then we have some paprika. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're going to have a little bit of cumin. So to have that meatier, meatier, huh, meaty-ish flavor. Here we go. After that, we're going to have one egg. Let's see if I can actually do this one-handed. So boom, boom, and bam. Wow, I did not rehearse that. From there, we're going to add just salt and pepper to taste, and I need two hands. Now I know why they don't have Snapchats for cooking channels. And then from here, uh, we're going to add, oh, we're going to add fresh dog. Come here, whee! Guys, don't do that. Don't, don't actually add a dog. Don't, uh, this is a mixed dog. Don't mix dog, okay? So, all the while that we've been putting all these ingredients together, we have also been simmering this, okay? Just remember that. And now, we are going to mix this one. Ah, f I forgot to put breadcrumbs. Ah, breadcrumbs. Ah! Okay, um, so what we're going to do is add just one third cup of breadcrumbs. Doesn't matter what kind you use. Now, this is, okay. Now that this is all mixed up, we're going to form our steaks, but what's some steak without a little special ingredient? And we're going to add cheese! I'll see you there. Alright, now that we've got it all formed, we're going to put it in a pan over medium heat, 10 minutes each side. We're going to try our first flip. It wasn't exactly 10 minutes, but you can tell when the beef is actually getting more brown and stuff. Oh ho ho ho! Now that it's been cooked both sides, what we're going to do is we're going to take each one and you remember the gravy we've been making? Well, we're going to just plop that in. 